Hey guys, Crossman65 here. With all the games coming out in the coming months in the fall, I figured I would go in and just give everybody what I'm most interested in, what I'm going to pick up, picking up day one, and what I'm not going to be picking up, but what is still interesting to me. So, you know, every year it's the same thing. First, second quarter of the year, we might have one, maybe two AAA titles. Third quarter, it's completely dead through the summer, for whatever reason. And in the fall, you're going to get like 20 titles in your lap. So, we're going to start from today going in chronological order the best I can through the games I think are going to be standing out or the games that I'm going to be picking up or stuff along that line along those lines so first of all we're going to start off with Dust 514 for the PlayStation 3 Dust 514 is a first person shooter free to play on the PlayStation 3 console exclusively it's going to be merging EVE Online RPG MMO universe on the PC with the PlayStation 3, everybody on EVE plays together, so hundreds of thousands of players are playing on one server, which is what makes EVE Online unique, and it's going to be a unique experience. Obviously, it's free to play, free to play like I said, it's going to be supported by microtransactions. So, that's actually going to be pretty interesting. I'm actually downloading the beta right now. I'm going to play it as soon as I'm done making this video, if I can ever get it right. Um, next on the list would be have to be Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is looks like a really good game. I love the open world aspect of it. The multiplayer looks like they really upped it from Far Cry 2. I mean, I'm not even going to say it looks like they did up it from Far Cry 2. The map editor is something that I have yet to see. Obviously, they said it's in there. I would like, I would actually like to see the map editor in action. In Far Cry 2, that was one of the unique aspects. Was Basically, you don't have to pay for DLC. You just got community-driven maps, as long as they're being good maps, made good, which I know there will be. It's going to be pretty interesting, and it's pretty much like you don't have to buy any DLC at all. As for me picking it up, I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up day one, only because there's another game coming out a week later that's higher on my priority list, which is Borderlands 2, which I'll get to in a sec. But overall, Far Cry 3 looks like a great game. I'll probably get it down the line in the future when it drops down to maybe $40, if it ever does. We'll see if it goes on sale around holiday time. But that's where I stand on Far Cry 3. Now going back to Borderlands 2, I'm definitely going to be getting Borderlands 2 day one. I had lots of fun with Borderlands 1. I didn't actually buy Borderlands 1, but I rented it like three times over, beat it, got platinum. Actually, a friend gave me a code for a DLC, which I played the DLC, beat that. So I'm actually looking really, I'm really looking forward to Borderlands 2, much like everybody else. And I will probably be getting it day one. Another game that I will definitely be getting day one is coming out October 30th, which is Need for Speed Most Wanted, made by Criterion Games. Criterion Games is one of my favorite racing developers. They do a great job. They did a great job of Burnout Paradise and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Burnout Paradise has to be my favorite racing game of all time so far. I have spent countless of hours in the demo alone and then countless hours in the game playing it for six months straight almost all night, all day. It's pretty much all I did. But I'm really looking forward to that game. I mean, it looks like they're going back to the... It looks like they're going back to the, uh, the original... Burnout style gameplay. It looks like a Burnout Paradise with, say, a Need for Speed title. And I, I'll get, I can get into a whole bunch of it with Most Wanted, but I'm not going to right now. I might actually put up another video just on Most Wanted in the near future. But to stick with the theme, we're going to jump to the next game, which has to be do 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 Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yeah, I, got, I lost train of thought there. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I mean, everybody, obviously, we're all, everybody knows what Call of Duty is about. We're all going to get it day one. Even if you say you're not going to get it, you're going to get it. Don't lie. So, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a multiplayer fan of Call of Duty and not so much single player. I don't really like single player in the Call of Duty, Call of Duty series, mainly because it just seems like a rehashed, save America, save the world, blah, blah, blah. But multiplayer, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Resident Evil 6 does, I mean, Resident Evil 5 was pretty good. But Resident Evil 6, I'm not going to get it day one. I might not even get it at all. Maybe a long ways down the line. Because honestly, it looks a lot like the past Resident Evils that we've seen. I mean, to me, I'm not a Resident Evil fanboy or anything. I don't I don't know a lot about it. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to be getting it day one. It just seems like it's the same old, same old. I don't see nothing new. And if I don't see nothing new, it's obviously not that appealing to me. With PlayStation Battlestars, All-Star Battles whatever, you know what game I'm talking about, Super Smash Bros. Brawl remake of the PlayStation characters, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, I believe it's called. 
I'm not going to get that, honestly, because I'm not into the fighting games. I was not really into it unless my friends, a bunch of my friends get it, then I might get it. But I don't think I'm going to get it day one or anywhere after release just because it's not really... I'm not a big fighting, I'm more of a racing, shooting, little bit RPG type of player. But I figured I should mention that because I know a lot of people like that game. It's a really anticipated game for a lot of people, so I just want to throw that in there. Same with Halo 4. Halo 4 looks amazing. The graphics looks amazing from what we've seen at E3. It looks like a really good game. And like I said, you know, I sold my Xbox 360, therefore I won't be getting it. But if I had an Xbox 360, I would be getting it. One last game I want to talk about is Grand Theft Auto V. I mean, obviously it's not coming out this year. It might not even come out next year. Who knows when it's going to come out? They haven't actually said anything. All we've gotten was a trailer, a teaser trailer with that. No gameplay yet, but I am highly anticipating that game. I can't wait to get my hands on that game. My prediction is it's either going to be coming out first, second quarter next year, or end of next year. If we start seeing some gameplay trailers, some more trailers, then I'm going to say it's coming out early next year, just like Grand Theft Auto 4 did. If not, it's probably going to be coming out end of next year which is the end of 2013, because that's next year. Anyways, I mean, Grand Theft Auto V, or just the Grand Theft Auto series in general, has been a great game. You know, they really stepped it up with multiplayer in Grand Theft Auto IV, and it's going to be interesting, interesting to see what they take from Max Payne Three, Red Dead Redemption, and they throw it all in the one pot and call it Grand Theft Auto V, and I can't wait to get my hands on that game, like I've said many times before in this video. So that's pretty much all the games I am most anticipating in the coming months, in the coming year, and the games I'm going to be getting for sure. Um, right now, as of right now, my most anticipated game is Need for Speed Most Wanted. I can't wait to get my hands on it. You know, I'm just, I'm all fanboy-like over the game right now. And second on that list would be Grand Theft Auto V, but unfortunately I've kind of, it was top priority, and then Need for Speed, Need for Speed Most Wanted showed up, knocked it down a, a notch. And until I see more of Grand Theft Auto V, it's going to stay down second place. But, like I said, Need for Speed Most Wanted coming out October 30th. Can't wait. And same with all the other games I've mentioned. I can't wait to get the hands on the ones that I've said. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, Let me know what you, what games you are going to want to get in the coming months. What, what games did I miss? Did I miss one? Did I leave one out? Let me know. And I will... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys later. And as always, have a nice day.